What's up guys, today we're going to be putting Kali Linux on our Raspberry Pi. Now for those of you that don't know, Kali Linux is just a Linux distribution that's perfect for cybersecurity professionals. It has all the latest hacking, cybersecurity, networking tools that you can use to practice and train with that kind of stuff. So let's put it on our Raspberry Pi. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Edge and I'm going to search for Kali Linux download. And it's the top link right here. Now once we go to the download page, you can see there's a bunch of different uh, platforms that we can install. Kali Linux on. Since we're using Raspberry Pi, we're going to want to select this ARM platform. Now you can see there's a few different versions. I'm going to be downloading the top one, which is for Raspberry Pi models 2, 3, 4, and 400, which is the keyboard one that I've got. There's also other versions. If you have a Raspberry Pi 5, then you'll want the 64-bit version. And if you have anything older, there are older versions as well. While that's downloading, we can open up a new tab and search for the Bellina Etcher download. Now the Bellina Etcher is the software that you use to flash an OS, in this case Kali Linux, onto a drive. In my case, it's an SD card. So since we're on Windows, I'm going to be downloading a version for Windows. And now that we have both of these downloaded, we can first open up the Bellina Etcher setup and install that. And then it'll go ahead and open up the Bellina Etcher for us. So the first thing we need to do is select the operating system file, which we download and it's under downloads so we can go ahead and select that then we selected the target drive and in here it doesn't actually show the name that you put on your drive so what you want to do is you want to go into file explorer and then find your drive in my case it's this pi boot one which is the F drive. So then when I go back into the Bellina Etcher, I can select the F drive, and then we can flash the operating system onto that drive. 